This video will show you how to sew throw pillows. We're going to be using Sunbrella Furniture Fabric and Pillow Forms from Sailrite. We'll be constructing standard throw pillows. Okay, in our loft today we're going to be making uh, pillow covers for 20 by 20 pillow forms. And the pillow form itself cover is 20 by 20, but that is not the size that you want to make your cover. Your cover will be smaller because as you can see there's plenty of room in this cover here. And once you get your cover on, if you made it at 4 to finish 2020, you would have a lot of extra fabric. So actually what we're going to end up with is cutting it as a 19 by 19 and it will finish as an 18 by 18. Okay, you want to get a straight line. The cut edge of this fabric is not straight. We're straightening the edge. We're going to make it as a wraparound cover so that we'll end up with a seam at the bottom and seams along the side, but there will be no top seam on the top of the pillow. Pretty much like the cover here is on your pillow form, you can see it's sewn on three sides and it's not sewn on the top. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing here. Okay, and we want to cut it 19 wide. Because our throw pillow has the same fabric on the front side and the back side, we're actually going to wrap it around the pillow form. So if your pillow form is 20 by 20, as Deb explained, you would cut the entire piece for one pillow 19 by 37 inches. And we're going to be making two pillow forms. It'll actually be 38 inches total wide. We're going to go from make this another 19. You can use that salvage, you just have to allow for it when you're sewing, that's all. The edge of Sunbrella Furniture Fabric sometimes has a salvage on it. We're cutting that off here. Connect these lines. So overall it'll be 37 inches to finish 18 by 18. Okay, now your height of the cut that we're making here is going to be an inch shorter than the overall of the pillow. That's how we got 37 that's going to fold over to finish to make your pillow cover. And it'll be 38 because this area down here will be 19 by 19 because we're taking two half inch seams on either side of the line. So that'll take an inch down and it'll finish 18 by 18. And since we're going to fold this side over, we don't have a half inch seam here so we only need one inch extra to close our pillow up at the bottom. So that makes it an inch shorter this way than what the width of it would be. Up. It's now time to cut the fabric out. You can use pinking shears or you can use regular shears. Um, I like to use the hot knife because it seals your threads to where it's not fraying as you're making it. it makes for a lot uh, nicer finish on your pillow and it doesn't let it fray to the inside of your seam. So we'll get the hot knife and cut it out. To cut out the fabric, you could use scissors or pinking shears, or you could use a hot knife. It seals the edge of the fabric. If you don't have a professional hot knife, you could use a wood burning tool or a soldering gun. Here are the cutout blanks for the two pillow throws. They equal 19 inches by 37 inches okay, each. Now we have a pillow form covered. Just take and fold it in half so all your sides are even, your ends even. The finished surfaces are facing each do, other. We're gonna do a half inch seam to the corner, back tack, turn the corner, and you only take like two inches over. You want to sew it up. And we're gonna do that to both sides on both pillow covers. You want to start with your bottom, estimate close to two inches. It doesn't have to be exactly two inches. And we just take a few stitches back, come up, back tack the corner. You want to turn it. Back the corner. We'll come straight half inch up the side. Back stitches. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Being your 
bottom, start at the top, and half inch, back stitches, half inch all the way down the side, bottom, turn, okay, go about two inches or so. Okay, so now what we have is our square sewn here with the opening. And we're going to turn the cover right side out. Okay, and once you get these turned, as you'll see, we're going to put the pillow form in. And it helps when you go around the corner here and do it so far in because then once we get the form in, you're going to sew this. Fold it in a half an inch on both sides. And lay it together and then that's how we're going to close it up from here to here. So now we'll put your pillow form in here. Just open it up and these are real pliable. You don't want to get your hole too small but then you don't want to leave it too big either because that's just all the more you're going to have to sew shut once the form is in. Now inside here you want to kind of move it around with your hand inside and pull your corner up into the corner. Uh, here, find the corner of your form, make sure that it's going up into the corner of that one. And the corners won't be real stiff because this is just a real nice soft pillow form inside. And also do the bottom corners here. Okay. And you can push that up in a little bit because it will come right back down once you have it sewn. And what we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to fold this over half inch either side. Now, if you need to, you can pin that or baste it shut and then go through the machine. But we're just going to fold it over our half inch here and continue from where our two inches stop. Okay. We're going to off. And you only need to sew in maybe an eighth of an inch in. And take and fold it over. Go as far as you can, you feel comfortable with. We're using the Sayerite 111 sewing machine to sew this throw pillow. As you can see, making a throw pillow from Sombrella Furniture Fabric is easy and they result in gorgeous throw pillows. Order your pillow forms and Sombrella Furniture Fabric from Sayerite today and do it yourself. Be sure to check out Sayerite's other videos showing how to make throw pillows with piping, throw pillows with box corners, and throw pillows with a zipper. I'm Eric Grant with Sayerite. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.